All right, guys, we have the H109S X4 Pro, the advanced or FPV1 transmitter, and now I have the XDA model antenna on there. The one with the red wire is a little bit longer than that M Eagle. It's about an inch longer. So I'm not gonna go through a whole spiel. I'm just gonna see what kind of range we get. If you did notice, I am going to be taking off off of the top of that box because a lot of times when you take off off the ground you can get an unwanted um, very bad GPS hold and or toilet bowling flyaways because of the geomagnetic compass sensor so just wanted to note that all right she's up at a hundred meters full battery I really hope I don't have any GPS problems this time so I'm just letting it sit up there for a minute it's doing nice I'm sitting out of the Sun so you can see the screen and uh, I'm gonna try moving it and I'll be back in one second and once again I forgot to change the frequency on my controller so I got her in return to home. She's right above me at 81 meters and coming down nice. I'm just gonna bring it back, uh, change the frequency on my controller and take off again. Okay, so I brought her back home and went into menu and changed it to 5745 megahertz. Okay, so I'm trying to block the sun with my body. It is out 151 meters and 96 meters high. And there we go. Okay. Full pitch forward. Two hundred and thirty-eight meters. I am noticing some snow. Oh, just gotta adjust the antenna a little bit there. Okay, we're getting. Hey, I'm gonna stop it there. It's at three hundred eighty-five meters out, ninety-five meters high, and it already. I'm losing signal already. So maybe 5745 was not the best frequency for this. I'm going to try to change it. Okay, so I brought her back home and went into menu. Okay, she's looking okay now, so I'm going to resume it. Full pitch forward. Four hundred and. 20 meters, 81 meters high. FPV still clear. And we're getting to 500 meters. Slight adjustments on the on the controller. Ah, oh, you really got to There we go. Oh, there's that house. I got to turn away from that house. So we're still at 600 and... Seven hundred and thirty meters FPV is good. Eighty one meters high. Seven sixty five, gotta let the telemetry keep up a little bit here. Eight hundred meters. Try and move the antenna just a tad bit. I'm going to stop it for a second, see if I can relocate the 
quiet here. Well, we're at 882 meters and 81 meters high. And I'm getting all sorts of static and I can't seem, there we go. I'm just gonna bring, uh, man. I'm gonna bring her home before I run into troubles here. Okay, return to home is on. Here she comes. Lost total signal there. There we go. It's at 11 volts and I don't want to have to be running through the field again to try to find this thing. I don't know why it's breaking up so dang much. There we go. I mean, I'm literally going like this. And it's coming home. FPV is not so great with this antenna. It's black and white. Well, it's not black and white, but it's very snowy. It's still, you know, doable, but... I got a lot longer range with the other one. I wonder if uh, the frequency should stay around 50, 60 megahertz. I put it at 5745, but that was because I I used it with the standard controller and that seemed to be the best frequency but this is obviously a different controller and yeah if you can see the grass we got pretty good wind out here but so she's still out there right off the bat I'm not liking this I mean see there now you got perfect FEB but it's not that far absolutely perfect all right so that was the range I got the XDA model antenna sorry about that noise constantly getting notifications about stuff and she is coming home so I'm gonna let her return to home that's very important to find the right frequency for each antenna and here she comes. Look at how fast this thing comes home. You'll see it. Straight above my panel antenna. I actually took off right off of that box and I don't want it to land on the box so I'm gonna kick the box out of the way look at all the flocks of birds up there it's like they're about to attack the drone that's crazy but here it comes All right, so with the XDA model, the FPV-1 and the H109S X4 Pro, to put it at 57.45 megahertz. Um, then I brought it back, I actually returned home three times. I put it at 57.60, and it seemed to be doing a, a, a lot better than 57.45, and that does matter every antenna you use it's very important to go into your menu you just hold down the throttle stick all the way down and press enter so now you're in your menu 
and go to 5.8, press enter. It will show you what you're at. You can move it down, up. You see how it kind of finds it there? You just hold exit. There it goes. The gimbal went back up. And you make sure if you have this one axis gimbal, this is very important. Okay, see the T2 button here? There's a little notch where you know it shows you where you're at. It's right here. If you turn this all the way to the left, you're gonna hear this. That's a servo winding. So you want to turn it to the right just until it stops and maybe you know mark that spot spot with a white marker. So 950 meters with the XDA model and uh, the H109S. So far I'm liking the M Eagle model better. <clears throat> it's more solidly built here. It does have a shorter coax cable and I think it was tuned in, tuned in a little bit better. Because I am in that same location and batteries were fully charged and everything so I'm going to say that the M Eagle outdid the XDA model, or whoever makes it. The XDA models are available all over the place. Amazon, uh, eBay, Banggood, um, all over the place. The other one, the blue one with the shorter coax, I've only seen at Gearbest and Amazon. I have not seen them anywhere else. Actually, I think I did see them on eBay now. So anyways, that's uh, 950 meters about. And it was really hard to keep adjusting this. You know, when you're flying and it's way, way out there. I mean, you gotta really keep this thing. It's so directional. The other one wasn't like that as much. And I took it out to 1,050 meters, and that's another thing. When this battery in the camera gets low, or the quad flight battery, it weakens the transmission signal coming off the long range transmission antenna. So that can also cause FPV problems. So right now I am preferring that other one over the XDA model. It may act different with the H501S and the standard controller with the mods, but until then, that's what I got. Thank you for watching.